Hello everybody, how are you today? The story today talks about a boy called David. This boy likes to make strange things at house and someone is telling him no. And I know that you are smart learners and kids and you know who is telling David no. Who asks you to stop doing things at home? Maybe because these things are dangerous. Maybe because these things are not good choices for you. Look at David. I want you to look carefully at the cover. What do you think David is going to do? And if he holds this, what is going to happen to the fish? Let's see. By the way, the writer of this story is called David. David's mom always said, No, David. Look at David. He is writing on the wall. He is holding his markers coloring markers, crayons, and writing on the wall. Do you think this is a good choice? Let's see what's happening. No, David, get down. What do you think David is going to try to do? He is trying to get the jar. But do you think it's safe? He should ask someone to help him. Now you will be so surprised. Look at David. What did he do here? Do you think it's a good choice to enter your house and you are full of dirt? He said no. No, David, no. His mom, I think. Look at David. What is he doing now? He's always trying to make mess. He doesn't think about his actions and he didn't take good choices in this story. Now he's running in the street. Come back. Come back here, David. Someone is calling him to come back to the house. Oh my God. How many times your mom or dad asks you at home to be quiet? Look at David. He is trying to make too much noise. No, David. David, be quiet, please. Do you sit on the table and eat your food this way? I don't think so, because you are principled learners. David always play with his food. He's playing with his tomato. He always plays with his food. Time to play with your food, please. His mom is asking him to stop. You see? Someone is shouting, that's enough, David, that's enough, stop doing such things. When someone makes like this, the mom sometimes asks him to go home. Go to your room, David, please, now go to your room. Look at his face, he's angry, he's upset. He should say sorry to his mom, but instead he's making such things on his face, pretending that he's upset. Do you think when he goes to his room, he is going to be quiet, sit on his bed quietly, and the bed will be clean and everything will be okay in his room? No, I don't think so because David is trying to fly on his bed. Now he is also making mess in his room. Settle down, look at his bed. It's up and down. He is pretending that he is a superman on the flying. Now I think this is the worst thing in this story. He is putting his finger in his nose. Stop that this instant, please. Look at David. David always plays with his toys and he doesn't clean up. He left his toys here in this, in this picture and he turned his back to watch TV. Do you make like this at home? I'm sure no. I'm sure you clean everything. Put your toys away. His mom is always angry. His mom is always shouting at him. His mom is always asking him to clean up and put everything back in its place. 
Oh, I don't think that you can do this at home. He is playing with the bat. Do you think this is safe? Or he is going to break something? Not in the house, David, please stop it. His mom is asking him. I said, no, David, please. I said no so she's asking him to stop doing these things whenever he starts to make such things baby come here at the end of the day his mom is trying to give him a big hug you see despite everything he's doing his mom still loves him this is David goodbye have a nice time and I hope you enjoyed this story